Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up in this week's show. The Barbados Sprint King reasserts his dominance with a third straight win in the Francis Cozier Memorial Breeders Sprint Stakes, giving champion trainer Andrew Nunes 400 wins at the Garrison Savannah. In Jamaica, a clash of Horse of the Year winners in Saturday's trophy race, but their fun spoiled by this three-year-old colt that gave champion trainer Jason Acosta a 300th career win at Caymanus Park. A massive stakes double in West Virginia for Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr., including a repeat win for his five-year-old Skippy Longstocking in the $1 million Charlestown Classic. Another Barbadian trainer, Nathan Squires, cops a stakes win as well at Woodbine, where a Barbadian groom won the rich king's plate. And top Barbadian jockey Patrick Husbands uncorked a magnificent stakes triple. Plus the regular check-in on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story coming from Barbados. Where a small field contested the Francis Cozy Memorial Breeders Sprint Stakes and Trophy feature. There's the six-horse field. The top contenders, Scarface, number one at five to one odds. Number two, the 2022 Triple Crown winner, Hurricane, the six to five second favorite. Four to five the odds on the favorite, Sir David Seals, seven-year-old speedster Dominus in the three box. And number four, Dancing Prospector, the next best supported in the betting at eight to one. No surprises how the race shaped up early with Dominus under the tall jockey Ray Williams setting the splits at 24-4 by 48-3. They come inside the quarter pole and Dominus has now got daylight behind him and Hurricane, but Hurricane is closing in very quickly on the outside and there are no more turns and Dominus and Hurricane swing for home side by side but Dominus gets right-handed encouragement and has to go on and win his race and accelerate he does and opens that Hurricane standing on a war spot Dancing Prospector trying to close, but Dominus in a dominant performance has won it. Dean Springer on commentary for the third year in a row. Dominus aces the Breeders' Sprint Stakes and Trophy. Jockey Ray Williams aboard for all three of those wins. Dominus gets a 13th lifetime win in 22 starts and also lands for reigning champion trainer Jamaican Andrew Busha Nunes, a 400th career win at the Garrison Savannah. Add to that 329 winners he trained at Jamaica's Caymanus Park before shifting his base to Barbados in 2003. Dominus by a length and a quarter in the Francis Cozy Memorial Breeders Sprint Stakes and Trophy as the four to five favorite, topping Dancing Prospector and Hurricane, clocking one minute 6.80 seconds for the five and a half furlong sprint. To Jamaica's Caymanus Park now, where Saturday's main event, the distinctly Irish trophy, was in honor of the two-time Derby winning horse of the year and Hall of Famer. The field small with five entries, but with quality for the 9.1 furlong trip, reigning horse of the year, Atomica, shouldering top weight of 126 pounds, a six to five second favorite in the four box, number two, former horse of the year, further and beyond, at seven to one, number three, Fun Can't Done, the even money favorite, and Mamma Mia, double classic winner last year, a 72 bet in post position five. And after the speedy Mamma Mia led for most of the trip, the field became tightly bunched, coming off the final bend, watched in the com box by Kevin Burnside. As it is now Atomica, that it's the front, Fun Can Down, it's sent in chase. It is Atomica, Fun Can Down, on the outside of Fun Can Down, now looks to strike from Atomica, right there it's Atomica and Fun Can Down, they're fighting, nail and hammer, it's Fun Can Down, Atomica, Atomica not quitting, Fun Can Down, right there too. This is Fun Can Down, now begins to get the upper hand, and Fun Can Down will hand trainer Jason Da Costa a 300th win, Fun Can Down, and it's terrific to having faster, beat Atomica. Leading jockey Tevin Foster with a fine ride gets the win by two and a quarter lengths and fittingly for leading trainer Jason Da Costa who lands his third consecutive win in the third staging of the Distinctly Irish Trophy after back-to-back -back scores in 2022 and 2023 with I Am Fred. Da Costa already with 481 wins in the USA securing his 300th career win at Caymanus Park as he speeds toward a third championship title in only his third full season in Jamaica after taking over the stables of his legendary late dad, Wayne Da Costa, in March 2021. Carlton Watson's fun can't done scores in the distinctly Irish as the even money favorite over Atomica, clocking 155.71 for the trip of nine furlongs and 25 yards. Now, Safi Joseph's terrific season in the USA is continuing, already a shoe in for a 10th consecutive trainer's title at Gulfstream Park in Florida. When the spring summer meet ends this weekend, the Barbadian had a massive stakes double at Charlestown Racetrack in West Virginia last weekend. 
One of those added money wins, a repeat triumph in Friday's US $1 million Charlestown Classic. Safi's front-running five-year-old gelding Skippy Longstocking with Jose Ortiz aboard as the even money favorite, just as emphatic in this win as he delivered last year. Skippy Longstocking turns for home on top, opens up on a three-length lead. Veloster runs after him, Kamora Bino Amoide, and Coastal Mission, 16th pole. Skippy Longstocking is long gone. He goes back to back in the classic. Skippy Longstocking's ninth career win this, landing Friday's Charlestown Classic by five and three quarter lengths at even money, clocking 150.34 for the ninth for a long trip, while giving Joseph a fourth career $1 million stakes win after Math Wizard in the 2019 Pennsylvania Derby. White Abari in the 2022 Florida Derby and Skippy Longstocking in last year's Charlestown Classic. In a fruitful trip to Charlestown, Safi also copped the $750,000 Charlestown Oaks on Friday with a 6-1 to bet, Mystic Lake, who took control coming off the final bend on the jockey, Mike Smith. Mystic Lake to the top of the stretch in front, opens up by four. Overnight Pow Wow fights on, Princess Madison, my main squeeze, but it's Mystic Lake and Mike Smith. They were magnificent in the Charlestown Oaks. Veteran jock Mike Smith pilots Mystic Lake to a five and three quarter length win in the Charlestown Charlestown Oaks clocking 124.18 for the seven furlong trip. Joseph, who had a third weekend stakes win in Saturday's Benny the Bull stakes at Gulfstream Park and a Saratoga win as well, now has 24 stakes wins on the season and is currently number eight on the trainers list in all of North America with horses earnings of 10.62 million US dollars. To Canada's Woodbine now, where the groom Troy Garnett was a winner of Friday's Rich King's Plate with his filly, Caitlin Her Greatness. And he led multiple stakes wins for Barbadians there this past weekend. An upset result here in the King's Plate, Canada's richest horse race, the 9 to 1 bet, Caitlin Her Greatness, with Rafael Hernandez in the white silks on the outside, getting the better of the favorite, My Boy Prince, for the win by three quarters of a length. The Barbadian groom, Troy Garnett, white shirt and tie, proudly struts around in the winner's enclosure with a Kevin Attar trained filly named after US basketball star Caitlin Clark. Also Friday, Barbadian trainer Nathan Squires aced the soaring free stakes for two-year-olds with the 5-1 to shot. Cairo Caper here on the outside with jockey Jose Campos in white silks and red cap upsetting more fancied rivals. Down the outside, Cairo Capers ranging up, head on the side. Dream On under attack. Cairo Caper and Dream On drifting a bit, but Cairo Capers grinding up on the outside. On the rails, Dream On, and Cairo Caper loves the turf and wins the soaring free by three quarters. Prior to Friday's soaring free stakes, Squires had only three stakes wins during his near two decade sojourn at Woodbine, and he pretty much anticipated this would be his fourth. I thought that we always had a good chance going in. You know, his maiden race was good. You know, he's trained well. He looks stronger. He looks better, right? You know, going into this race. So I was um, a bit confident. Yes, I was. Cairo Caper by three quarters of a length at five to one odds, clocking 116.25 for the six and a half furlong trip on turf, topping the three to one bet Dream On in the finish. A bumper weekend for the super jock, Pat Husbands, after his disappointment of a 10th place finish in Friday's King's Plate. The brilliant 51-year-old would score three stakes wins, including Saturday's Seaway Stakes in the red cap and white silks, displaying all the skill and patience aboard Ticker Tape Home, waiting for racing room before eventually collaring the favorite gal in a rush for the win by a neck. The Mark Cassett trained four-year-old filly landing the $150,000 event for her first graded success. Galen Arash has gone to the front and uh, Metaphysical's running from a mile back, but Galen Arash, oh, two in front, Queen Matcher in second giving chase. It's a race between the two or Ticker Tape Home. Oh no, Ticker Tape Home's coming. I might get up and win. Ticker Tape Home's gonna get up and score. Wow. 24 hours later on Sunday, two more stakes wins for husbands, both $200,000 purses. First, the Muskoka stakes, husbands staring super supreme. The young sister of last year's King's Plate winner, Paramount Prince, to a front-running win with authority. Super Supreme from Scary Speedy, two lengths behind, then Skylight Caper and Princess of Storm from last, but opening right up, Patrick Husbands and Super Supreme, a giant killer today. Super Supreme in the Muskoka Stakes, romps home by four lengths to Skylight Caper. Four and a quarter lengths, Super Supreme's victory margin in the Muskoka, defeating the favorite Skylight Caper, clocking 118.20 for six and a half furlongs in a smooth front-running effort. She's special and she come back and win and today she leave the gate, she want the lead and I try not to fight her and she, she get the lead and she was good to go.
Half an hour later, another textbook gate to wire win for husbands with a two to one favorite scorching in the Simcoe stakes. A call in a leading 14th stakes ramp at Woodbine this term for husbands. Scorching by five lengths in the Simcoe, stopping the clock at 117.57 for six and a half furlongs. The two year old Colt making his first stakes outing a winning one. Our usual weekly tally of Caribbean wins in the USA and Canada now. Before we go, in the past week since our last show, I've counted 88 victories. Among them, stakes wins at Century Mile for the Jamaican jockey Dane Nelson and the Barbadians Enrico Prescott and Rashid Hughes, who had a magnificent five timer on Saturday. Four wins, including a Friday triple at Emerald Downs for the U.S. Virgin Islands veteran Kevin Krieger. The Barbadian jockey Juan Crawford had a Monday night triple at Fort Erie. And then we also saw the Trinidad and Tobago jockeys Sven Balroop and Ronald Ali, along with Rashad Knights from Barbados, scoring stakes victories at Assiniboia Downs, where TNT's Pravin Badri is the leading rider and had a Monday night triple. There were also two stakes wins at Grand Prairie for the Jamaican jockey Garfield Gordon. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of Kings. Check us out again next week.